Hey friends. One of the benefits of doing a daily post like this is that things come out of my mouth that I'm thinking somewhere below the surface of my awareness, but that I really need to hear out here in the in the superficial part of my awareness, in the external, visible part of my awareness. I keep struggling with what has been an ongoing question since the start of this post. Why record a daily video post? There's, I can give you a dozen answers, you know, everything from one day it'll be great that my daughter can go back and look at like all these years of my me expressing something. A lot of it has something to do with her. Sure, okay. Like it's an archaeological record, assuming that YouTube survives that far into the future. Um, because it's a way of staying in touch with people out there who know me and want to know how I'm doing, right? baseline like it's like a letter to your family every day but that's not why I started this thing and that's certainly not why I've maintained it for now I've lost track of the days I stopped counting at a thousand I was like all right I've done a thousand days I'm yeah, I'll just keep going right it's just happening now um the reason why I started was because I intended to create a platform a a a, a uh, venue for myself to express things that that want that want to come through me and at the time before I started I felt like they would just kind of bubble up into my brain and then just fizz around in here for a little while and then eventually just go away again and then they fizz up again and I thought well maybe if I were expressing that first of all it might concretize it for me and allow me to stop thinking about it. And second of all, every once in a while, it feels like this stuff's valuable. You know, if it, it might be valuable to me to make it concrete and be able to take it from the subconscious, semi-conscious realm of my psyche and bring it up to the surface. And hopefully, you know, there's value in it for, for you, for, for anybody who would watch these videos. And I've received over the years now a, a great deal of affirmation, a great deal of appreciation for various things I've done and insights I've shared. And, you know, that in and of itself certainly keeps me, certainly keeps me going. It keeps me knowing that people are watching, knowing that there's value being created, there's value coming through, there's value being received. All of that is immensely gratifying. But the, but even so, there's an element that rem, that remains kind of not totally ineffable, but but sort of ineffable day to day. You know, in the in if I look at the aggregate, if I look in the long term, over the long term, it's evident that I, uh, you know, that I get this that i have this experience of bringing things up from the subconscious and oh look at that i can see it now but every single day i may go back into a place where it's like i don't know what's coming through today i i don't know what's gonna happen right this is me before i do my post I just don't know. And then, because I've now practiced it, I practiced this over a thousand times, I start the video, and before I know it, I mean, usually I'm like three words in, and it's like, oh, shit, okay, I really need to hear this. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Not every time, but enough times to be you know, statistically significant, as they say. 
And so I think what I the reason why this continues to, to occupy me is because I, as I keep going, I am continually redefining what I'm doing. And I am, I'm also checking in with myself. Like I did a post yesterday after a long day, my body was beat up and I had just felt like pain everywhere. It felt like I aged 10 years in a single day. Kind of hurt my shoulder moving a big cabinet in the other room. So having an opportunity when I when I speak from there and I'm and I'm finding the place of greatest depth, greatest height that I can that I can find, one kind of thing comes through. The very next day, which in this case is today, it might feel totally different. I might see those issues in a completely different context. And that might be obvious if I were just thinking it in my mind. Like it might show up and register as significant, but it also might not. It also might sort of like fizzle up and then fizzle back down again without ever really entering my awareness. And so I think, especially as I, as I, as I get older and as I notice, it's almost like I notice the distinction between acting consciously and acting unconsciously more and more and more and more. I noticed it when I was younger, too, but not nearly to the degree that I do now. And, and so there's just an incredible amount of value in showing up every day and giving this quick, in-the-moment, it's almost like a workout. It's like going to the gym for psychic space or psychic light for letting light into my circumstances if there was a, 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 a an ergonomic machine that would allow you to work out that muscle it would look a lot like this <laughs> it would look a lot like sitting in front of a camera and speaking not to myself but to consciousness right the people who who, who resonate with this, you find it. You found this for some reason. You are still watching after eight minutes of me talking. So I'm speaking to you. There's there there is a there's consciousness on this wavelength wavelength out there. And communicating with that ch changes my perspective. It can't fail to change my perspective on my circumstances. It's just it's like clockwork. It happens every time. So, you know, that's, it's something that I, I, I think I, I, every once in a while, I, for some reason, feel compelled to do a post about the post. But it keeps showing up in a slightly new way, and I keep having a slightly deeper conviction each time that this practice is really is really something it's really it really creates something that it, that would otherwise just not really be there <laughs> in my life it creates an access point for my awareness so i can hardly how much I appreciate you, people who watch, because it's not intended to be solipsistic. It's not intended to be me reflecting to myself. I don't really watch these posts. Occasionally I do, but pretty rarely. It's intended to be an expression that puts me into 
connection, that puts me into dialogue, that puts me into extension in a admittedly small way. I'm not on a stage in front of a thousand people, but I am speaking to other people. I'm speaking to a, a community of people who might re resonate with this. So I appreciate you very much. And I think that's where I am for today. Thank you for watching. I will be back to you soon. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you tomorrow.